Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this, welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be going over our last topic review video for Unit 6. Today we're going to be talking about gender and sexual orientation. Now once you finish this video, you'll want to make sure you go and check out my ultimate review packet. Go watch the unit summary video. It covers everything you need to know for Unit 6. Then use the study guide, the answer key, and the practice quiz to make sure you've mastered all the important concepts of this unit. Plus there's some extra review materials in the packet to make sure you've mastered the different concepts, not only in this unit, but the rest of the class. All right, now let's get into unit six, topic seven. Now, before we get started, I want to highlight that this can be a controversial subject for some people and also a very personal one. The goal of this video is to cover concepts that connect with the AP Psychology curriculum. This video will just scratch the surface on this complex topic. Oftentimes, people confuse the terms gender and sex. These two terms are pretty similar, but are different. A person's sex refers to the biological differences between males and females. These are anatomical differences. We can see that there are primary sex characteristics, which are characteristics of an individual that are directly related to reproduction, and also secondary sex characteristics, which are characteristics that are indirectly related to to reproduction. For example, men having broader shoulders and women having less facial hair. Gender, on the other hand, refers to the social, physical, and behavioral traits that are considered normal for men or women. Gender is the social and cultural differences between females and males. Essentially, gender is learned aspects of our sex. We can see that children are typically able to identify people's gender around age two, and by age three, they start to identify specific traits that are associated with each gender. The ability for children to create mental categories for masculinity and femininity femininity is known as gender schema theory. This allows children to understand their own gender roles and gravitate towards activities that match those roles. This leads to gender roles to develop along with gender stereotypes. Another concept some get mixed up on is sexual orientation, which is an individual sexual attraction towards a member of the same sex or different sex. If a person is attracted to the same sex, their sexual orientation is homosexual. If an individual is attracted towards the opposite sex, then they are considered a heterosexual. And if an individual is attracted to both sexes, they are considered bisexual. Today, psychologists view sexual orientation as something that an individual cannot choose and cannot change. Different research studies have shown that it is most likely a combination of different genetic influences and environmental influences. However, there is no one specific environmental factor that would cause someone to have a specific sexual orientation. Throughout our life, we go through socialization. This is a lifelong process of learning. During our lives, we're constantly being exposed to different ideas, views, stereotypes, and influences. Influences. Socialization typically happens in four ways. The first being your family. When you're younger, this has the greatest influence over you. Gender roles can be established at a young age. For example, growing up, if you have a brother or a sister, did your parents have you do the same chores? Was there the same punishment for everyone? Or did you get the same reward? How you answered these questions may shed light on how different socialization factors may have influenced you and your understanding of what is acceptable and what is not. And it also may have influenced your understanding of gender roles. As we get older, we start to be more influenced by school and our peer groups. As children enter adolescence, they put a greater focus on their peer groups. Think about different classes you've taken. Were the boys and girls in these classes treated the same when someone acted out? Were certain students rewarded more often than others? Or if we look at your peer groups, what happens when an individual wore something that did not fit in with the classic gender role? How did you treat your peers? What activities or interests did boys and girls have that were seen as positive and which ones were seen as negative. The answer to these questions may also give you some insight into how different environmental forces reinforced or changed your understanding of gender roles. The last socialization factor which has become increasingly important is the media, which would no longer just include the traditional print media or television, but social media as well. If you were to analyze and break down your Instagram feed or your For You page on TikTok, stories on Snapchat, or your Netflix recommendations, what messages are you consuming? How are people being presented in the media you see? Are are certain aspects of individuals being highlighted more than others? And how does this change how you think or view yourself and other people in society? By asking these questions, we can better reflect on all the thousands of different images, sounds, and experiences we take in every day. It's interesting to think about how these might be shaping our worldview, how they're reinforcing it or also changing it, and how these things can help shape how we view different people and ourselves in society. So that's Unit 6. Now again, this video just scratches the surface on this complex topic. The goal 
this video was to cover the information you needed to know for the AP Psychology exam. Now what you need to do is go check out my ultimate review packet and go watch the Unit 6 summary video. That covers everything you need to know about Unit 6. Then also make sure you fill out the study guide, check your answers in the answer key, take the practice quiz, and use all the other review resources that are in that packet. That'll help get you a 5 on the national exam and an A in your class. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.